didn't get anything out of this. But you know what? We at least we're at least still exploring, and that's that's what matters. And that does not look like a way to go. Damn. Well, that's upsetting. That really didn't do anything. Um. The other one just ran off because it's a skeleton and it has no brain. I <laughs> see no brain. Can let's let's. Wow, we just whiffed that so hard. I don't think we can actually damage those. I think those really are just wait until they break themselves. Yep. Oh, come on. No, we totally. We're totally not trying this hard enough. Oh, yeah, that's not doing anything. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, I've seemed to have lost steam on my. On my rant about airline travel, which is good because it's just, yeah, it's, it's just awful. That's why I'm very happy that you know we're not we're not doing that again for at least another like month. Which is nice. I know we won't be doing it again for hopefully a very long time. Again, what a pain. I mean, one fun thing was, uh, one fun thing is that when they bring, what are you going to go do? One fun thing, at least, is when security brings a puppy. That's always fun. I mean, sadly, you can't play with the puppy, but you can at least, like, watch it and be like, oh, yay, a puppy. Then you can be happy about that, you know? And it, it at least does mean that you no longer have to, like, take off everything. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to strip down to your underwear to freaking go through the go through freaking security. Ow! No way. Ah! Get out of Ow! Oh, it's you! That's why these things keep popping up. You damn dirty jackass. It's like, oh, roll into these barrels. Roll into these urns and nothing bad will happen. Except we'll send... Ooh. Look at this roll control. Ow. That didn't look far enough. But the puppies are a rare thing. But they do they do definitely speed up to you know, freaking security. But then every once in a while you just oh, you get somebody get people in security that you know are in the security line that just they don't understand what's going on and the whole process. I mean actually I think, you know, on the way back we actually did have somebody who had like never they must have been, I think they were brand freaking new. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Because they had, they just, they had like no idea what to, what to, do to take off. They had no idea how to use those fun little body scanners. It was, it was incredible. Oh, great. You know, and then you feel bad because they're just, these poor people are having to deal with this crap. 
freaking stupid. Stupid security shit. And it is. It's. I don't. I don't. I, I've not bought into it since they started the body scanner shit. I'm like, this is to keep us safer. And take off your shoes and take off your underwear and take off everything you're wearing. And no, you know, open up your bags and do all this shit. Because all this other stuff is bad and we're keeping you safe citizen and don't worry and don't question either otherwise we'll arrest you and pat you down too hard and uh, it's just such a freaking bunch of bullshit and I'm not enjoying going through the catacombs primarily because I hate these guys uh I think it fell through the floor. I'm not quite sure, but I think it fell through the floor. Did it fall through the floor? Yeah, I think it fell through the floor. <laughs> okay, that's shit. That's oh, shit. Stop! You're just killing yourself faster and being really annoying. You're all like, look at me, I'm an improved skeleton from Demon Souls. And, oh, and Dark Souls, because they rolled in that one too. Look at me, I'm improved! Look at me, look at me! Harder. It's like, yes. I mean, thankfully, the game just says you can't. The game just says you can't, you know see them. The game doesn't say anything about being able to track them, which is really great. Oh, yes. <sighs> right. We have clearly missed a fair amount of this of this freaking catacomb. I know that we're missing it. Like, we just went through so much of this and skipped so much. Because, yeah, we're at the bonfire, and that's not the one I want to be at. I need to go back to the Abyss Watchers bonfire. So I need to figure out how to get back. I guess I should have gone up the stairs, shouldn't I? Hmm, I did drop down a lot. <laughs> and apparently I forgot that part. <laughs> I definitely, I kind of, I, you know, I agree with George Carlin on the whole, well, you know, back on the whole thing when he used to say about the TSA and airport security. It is just to make, as he put it, it was just something to make white people feel safe. Because, you know, you're always going to invent a better criminal. Always gonna invent a better terrorist. It will always it's I mean it's an arms race of you know people trying to get away with whatever they can. Can they get away with this? Nope. Okay, let's try something else. Can they get away with that? Nope. Okay, let's try something else. Can they get away with this? Nope. Okay, let's try something else. It's always gonna be like that. Always and forever. So I mean when they're like, aha, you're safe now, it's like Who the hell are you? Seriously, what the hell is... Huh. Okay. Uh, dead guys, I guess. Works for me, I suppose. It's just more dead guys. Oh, shit. I feel like I remember this. Boom. Headshot. Come on, do your little rolly thing. Or that. Do a grand sweep and then I'll just burn your face. Hmm. 
mean, yeah. Is it obviously is it a is it a scarier idea to think about people bringing, you know, that people are bringing guns and and you know, actual like weapon knives onto onto a plane? Sure, because it's an enclosed space. Where the hell are you gonna go? Oh right, you're just gonna go down. And who doesn't love falling from thirty thousand feet? You know, it gives you plenty of time to say. <laughs> Gives you plenty of time to say your goodbyes to whoever, whoever is listening. But putting us, putting, putting all of us through that, all the pat downs, all the. presuming because here's here's what it is it's it's essentially just saying okay well you're all guilty until we prove otherwise we all assume that you're terrorists until we can by our measures and our standards our own kind of you know poorly defined standards say oh nope you're not And you know the fact that you can get false positives, the fact that you can get false negatives, the fact that you can, you know, these things need to be calibrated. These things need to, and they don't work perfectly. And then humans don't work perfectly. You're just like, oh well, it's the best we can do. Okay, so you're still, but you're still assuming we're all guilty. And then you're like, oh no no, just kidding, you're not, because we did all these scans on you. We scanned your person. We scanned all of your items in a fa in such a strange fashion because they're like, oh, we need to scan the laptops individually. But you're cool with all of this. But you're cool with my power supply being right next to you, like my MP3 player being right next to you know my I don't know what else. What else do I usually hear? Oh, like a Nintendo DS or something. You're cool about all that. You know, and they can all be together. Like, they can all be next to each other. They can all be within the same container. But, uh, woe unto you if you bring, if you leave the laptop in, said, in the container with all that shit, too. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I may have already told this story once, but I, years ago... I actually was asked to empty my backpack because they were like, what is in your backpack? And I said, uh, I, I don't know. What, what's in it? Like, we need you to empty out your backpack. Specifically this pocket. Oh, you guys. I remember you. Thank God you don't take as many hits to die anymore. Yay! And so, you know, I'm like, okay, well, this sucks, because now I've got these security guys telling me, empty your bags, sir. So we may search it better. It's like, oh, shit balls. Shit, shit, shit. I open up the pouch, and it's just a bunch of freaking pennies pennies it's change it's fucking change like oh thank you sir we couldn't tell what it was it makes me feel safe that you can't you know make the distinct oh that's where i just went that you can't make the distinction between just a pile of you know assorted change assorted like you know device objects that are made of metal but you can tell me when i've got a bomb or some other destructive device in, in my bag. For some reason, I don't believe this anymore. And it may be because you can't make the distinction between change, just a pile of change, and, well, than anything else, really. So what are you, 
Well, sir, a file of change looks different from a bomb. Looks different from a laptop. Apparently not, because you thought you asked me to empty out my my bag because you thought I had. You wanted to know what I had in it. You know, you said, "What's in the bag, sir?" Uh, if you can't tell that that's just change and random change at that, like, it wasn't like all, you know, it probably was a bit of a mass because you know it all sank to the bottom of a pocket. But sitting there saying, "Hey." What's that? We can't tell. Oh god. Is <laughs> doesn't give me much confidence in what they can determine, like what these what these, you know, security agents can actually see when they're looking at the x rays of all of your shit. It's like, okay, well, I oh actually, look this. I hate you. Boop. I gotcha. Bye. Wow. And we got the souls. Oh, that was easy. You know, I may bring, I may just acquire a staples that was easy button. Just for the streams to just punch it, you know, every once in a while just go whack. So I can have that was easy. Just play real quick. <laughs> For any sort of scenario like that. That was also easy. See? Look at that. Twice. Twice in a row now I needed that button. And what do I not have? I do not have that button. That's it's something I need. It's something I need. If uh, any of you beautiful noobs are willing, I will certainly say. I mean, you you could acquire one for me. I'll, I'll make a. I'll make an Amazon wish list. I'll totally do that. All right, so we're back to where we started. So far, we've turned up nothing, which is fine. Nothing, you know. Obviously, not every area is going to have a secret area to it or attached to it. You know, it kind of. Do we go this way? Do we double back over here? It kind of wouldn't be secret. Eh, it kind of would be, but it kind of wouldn't at the same time. If you knew that every area had some sort of secret to it. But it would be a little nice because then you could, you know, then you could be like, oh, I know that there's a secret here and I've got to find it. Oh, man. My posture. My posture's terrible. Oof. Oh man, gotta sit up straight. I mean, it, it's, you know, yeah, I'm probably gonna. Huh, I didn't even spew anything. Okay. You know, I know that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Holy shit, that hurt a lot more than I expected it to. That, wow, that hurt me freaking ton. Here we go. Yeah. Kicked your asses. Uh, you know, when I'm standing up, posture's great. When I sit down, it goes right to freaking hell. It, it just does. It's, which, is a, which is not good. That's, that's bad. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? What? No, no! <gasps> Henri! Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, no. Morris? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and no. we've become oh, separated. No. I've not been able to find him since. No. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now. Don't beat yourself up. Old. I'll find him. If you happen upon him, yes. please tell him that I remain in the catacombs. Oh god, I... And will lay prism stones to guide him. Oh god, I really hope Horace doesn't end up somewhere like way the hell. <laughs> somewhere I beg else. Of you. May the flames guide your way. 
I will do exactly that, Henri. Hope this isn't like a uh, Opterix, Oryx? Was it Oryx? Opterix, whatever. The bird in Dark Souls 2. You know, the the Velka person. Oh, I'm so glad, see, but this, you know what? We found that and I am just so happy. I know that's not a secret area, but oh my God, that's great. It gives me life. Uh, Um, but whatever that, the, essentially the bird person, where, what, you find her, god, you find her, I can't remember the names of the areas anymore, because I kind of just didn't care about that game enough, well, I really just didn't, but you find her in one area, and then she's like, oh, meet me, meet me in my lo, you know, wherever I, where I live. Meet me in my workshop. It's down this, you know, it's just down the way. No, no, it was like three areas later. Three named areas later in a hidden, in a house. And it was just, it was one of those times where I went, that's, I mean, you know, I, I don't know, I guess. Oh, it's still that rolling thing. Um, you know, maybe I've just been coddled by the new style of video games a bit too much now, where I get upset about that because I think, I want my quest spelled out for me, damn it. And something like that is, something like that is very, very retro, very old school game, because, freaking hell, games used to just be like, hey, so, uh, you know, this guy, this guy you're looking for, this boss, hates sand. The end. <laughs> and you'd have to piece it together that, okay, so that means that this guy actually is near the ocean, and you can find him at the ocean, and... This, but you can only find him in this one location in the ocean, or at this spot in the ocean. <laughs> or still something, you know, kind of obscure like that. Or it's just, you're given almost no information. You know, or the hint you're given is it's, it's obscure. Like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go look for things now. And that's what I feel like that Oryx, Opterix person was. You know, this I don't know. This this Henri one doesn't it doesn't seem as bad. Because she's saying like, oh well we got separated. Okay, cool. You guys were on a journey from the road of sacrifices. Now, you know, past the road of sacrifices is here. So, if you got separated. God, I want you to just blow up. I'm sick and tired of you rolling everywhere. Just just blow up. I want. You know what? Fine. Screw it. I don't need to blow up. I don't need to blow up. I can just run down there myself. you can kind of then make the judgment call that, okay, so Horus should be further on. Horus. Horus ain't here, man. Fine. Horus ain't here, man. But Horus should be, you know, in a subsequent area, essentially is what you can say. Actually get you down. Yep, I did. Got 
yet. Now, okay, so it is just, it's just bone wheels out here. For some reason I was thinking, I was expecting one of those, uh, you know, assassins to show up. But since it's just bone wheels, that's, that's a little less frightening. I guess it's the bone wheels plus these bastards. Please die. Yay! And death to you. Why? Please. I just want to target the ones that are closest. Aha! Still got ya. Still got it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay, so it does take more than one hit to kill you. Okay. Fine. Sharks. I mean, I figure now that they're on the ground, I don't need to use my frickin' uh, you know, my spells anymore. Now I can just beat them in the face with a damn torch. Hmm. Makes sense to me. Why waste the ranged, you know, why waste the, the FP when I can just reach out and touch them? Nothing? Alright. Just, you know, the fact that one kind of dropped on our head when we got close to that wall got me thinking that maybe... Maybe there was a reason. Like, maybe that was actually an invisible, you know, illusory wall. But again, there are no notes saying it is or isn't. And that is certainly a thing that would happen. Ugh. Oh, but I'm so happy I got life again. We have forest to go find. Very exciting. I'm just getting really pissed about that with our bone mass. that one just goes forever. Or maybe, maybe you do have to, maybe you've got to damage it to stop it? Maybe that finally... Treasure chest, right? Man, look at that lighting effect. You see that? Oof. It's a beautiful lighting effect the whole way up. Hmm. Well, <sighs> nothing that way. probably be writing these down, like taking notes on everything I've checked. So that, you know, in the case that I don't get to stream again for another few weeks, I can at least just say, okay, wait, I did go, I went here, I went here, I went here, I went here, I went here. Mm, I don't want to go that way yet. 